the opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, Christopher Hughes for BoatTest.com, and today we're going to test the latest engine from Yanmar. This is the 8LV, and it's a 370 horsepower V8 diesel. Let's see how she does. The Yanmar 8LV is a digitally controlled V8 diesel marine engine that is offered in two versions a 320 horsepower or, as we are testing today, a 370 horsepower model. To get a true sense of how this engine performs, we are testing a single engine application. Our test boat is a 12,950 pound Bat Cove 30 with an 11 foot 2 inch beam and a moderate dead rise at the transom. We'll begin by looking at the installation and some of the major components of the 8LV370. It measures 30.85 inches high, 44.6 inches long, and 34.8 inches wide. It has a dry weight of 992 pounds, which is one of the lightest in class. Looking at the aft end of the engine, we can see the single exhaust, which Yanmar mounted at the top and on center, so that it can easily be routed either way. To the left and right are the twin turbochargers, each supplying four cylinders with compressed air after passing through the aftercooler, which is raw water cooled. Below the turbochargers is the transmission oil cooler, which is positioned to have proper water flow. Just below is the transmission, which in this case has a gear ratio of 2.13. The engine wiring harness comes complete with all the connection points needed to add optional components such as trolling valve. The orange item is your fluid level check and fill point. Our test application is a conventional inboard, but the 8LV can also be connected to Yamar's stern drive or a jet drive. Moving forward on the right side, you can see the electrical connectors for the fuel injector solenoids and the individual fuel lines as the 8LV utilizes a direct injection common rail system. There are two dipsticks to check the oil level, one on the left side and the other on the right side of the engine. This is ideal for a twin engine installation so owners can easily check their oil. The hoses with the red are the main fuel inlet and return. On the right side at the front of the engine is the oil filter and just forward of that is the main fuel filter with a manual priming pump on the top, just where it should be for easy use by the owner operator. Just inboard is the handy location of the oil fill. On the front of the engine is the ECU or the computer black box and all of the electronic controls. There are no mechanical cables from the helm, only electrical connections. Located here is the heat exchanger. Seawater is drawn into the heat exchanger to pull heat from the coolant circulating internally through the engine in a closed loop system. This keeps salt water out of the engine block. The last component is the 180 amp alternator located on the lower right side forward as seen in this image. During our test runs we recorded an average top speed of 32.6 miles per hour at 3800 RPM. There we were burning 18.7 gallons per hour, which gave us a range of 257 statute miles, with a 10% fuel reserve. Best cruise came in at approximately 3,000 RPM and an average speed of 23.3 miles per hour, while burning 10.5 gallons per hour, for an average range of 327 statute miles. Our average time to plane was 7.4 seconds and our time from 0 to 30 averaged 10.6 seconds. It is important to note that I noticed very little turbo drag during this test, almost none. At best cruise, the decibel level reading was only 83. Turning our attention to the controls, the 8LV is connected digitally to the Chrome Yanmar single station digital throttle control. In addition to the main digital throttle, there is also an auxiliary control. This control is simple to use. You can start and stop the engine with this rocker switch, control forward, neutral and reverse with this rocker switch and then the dial becomes your actual throttle control. One of the most noticeable features about this setup is how quiet the shifting is. Forward, neutral, reverse, extremely quiet, very smooth. Yanmar also has its own multifunction display which I think is one of the most intuitive on the market. Instead of complicated menus, you simply cycle through the screen fields you wish to display. Also, it has good visibility in sunlight or shadows. The overall test results show this engine has been carefully designed for ease of installation, maintenance, and owner operation, as well as providing superb performance in a low weight to horsepower package. For BoatTest.com, I'm Christopher Hughes.